the second year project has been focused on diffuse intrinsic pontinglioma, which is one of the worst pediatric brain tumors. And what we're working on specifically is investigating the epigenetic changes that are sort of driving this tumor. And what that means in sort of a way, a way of thinking is that there are changes that are not just in the DNA in the tumor, but also in the proteins that help to regulate the DNA of this tumor. And so what we've actually found, which is really interesting, is that not only are the sort of genes of DIPG upregulated, meaning they're turned on diffusely, there are changes in the DNA that are governing this. And there, we believe there are ways that we can regulate these changes to sort of convert DIPG from being a very aggressive tumor to being a less aggressive tumor to make it easier to kill. So one of the exciting things that we found is that DIPG tumors have an upregulation of an enzyme that helps to govern this sort of change in, their, in the DNA. And the fact that it's an enzyme means that it can be targeted with drugs. And so where we're hoping this leads and where Cure Search is helping to develop new drugs to target this tumor. So we think that what we'll be able to do this year is to prove that when we target this enzyme, which is called TET, T-E-T, we'll actually be able to decrease the tumor genicity of DIPG, and that should set the stage for developing drugs that can target that enzyme. So it's been really helpful to get funding from CureSearch because this is providing the, sort of the basis, the seed money, to establish a program investigating this pathway in DIPG. So without this funding, we wouldn't be able to do this kind of research, and we would not have been able to identify TET as being an important target in DIPG.